Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your second week of uh, January reading start from the 8th through the 14th of January 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. I was pulling out the cards on cam but the um, but the video stopped because I received a call. So um, I thought to continue with the same cards but having said that I will be pulling out more cards uh, because I feel like you know the messages that I'm picking up with these cards here are definitely going to be something significant for somebody out there who belong to the sign of Leo as well. So before I get into the reading, let me remind you, it is a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So just pick whatever is resonating with you in your situation and leave the rest. For a personal reading, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also book your um, year 2020 reading. If you have not booked it yet, you can check the description box for further details on that. That service is going to be available till the end of January only. Um, be mindful of the fact that since these are general readings, the energies could come reversed as well for some of you. So yeah, let's get into the reading. Let's see what's coming up for the Leo people for the second week starting tomorrow. Uh, we do have 10 of swords paired up with 10 of wands, 6 of cups and the 9 of swords. Underneath the deck you do have the fool, 5 of cups, the moon, 9 of cups. Um... I feel like, you know, uh, with the Ten of Swords energy here, it seems like, you know, some, you know, um, you are going to get hurt by something or someone. I feel like, you know, it's it's an ending of a relationship. It's an ending of, a, you know, of something that you uh, started with, with all your heart in. But it, it didn't, you know, um, work out the way you wanted it to work out. And, you know, you soon realize that, you know, whatever it is, it is like, you know, whatever the pain that it caused you is something that you need to walk away from it, walk away from. Because as soon as you could do that, you can pursue what you truly want. You can go with what you truly desire. I feel like for some of you, this could be coming because of a... For some of you, I feel like you might be coming uh, out of a third party situation as well. For some of you, you might be ending a relationship or somebody might have ended a relationship with you, which has definitely caused you pain. But... You are soon going to come out of it. You are not going to stuck, you know, um, you, you are not going to basically, you know, uh, get stuck in that situation for long. Because I feel like you are soon going to realize that whatever it was, it wasn't meant for you. It wasn't meant for you. And maybe it was just a lesson that you had to learn because maybe you have done something kind of same to another person as well. So I feel like, you know, it's it's more of a karmic cycle that is coming to an end uh, with this ending, which is going to happen in the, maybe it is going to happen in the first week, like the last two days of the first week, it might have already happened. If not, then it will be happening in the, uh, you know, around the 8th through the 10th of uh, January. And I feel like, you know, that ending is going to, um, stay with you till the end of this week because i feel like you know you you, you are going to uh, contemplate on that ending and the way things worked out i feel like you will be understanding that it was more of a karmic lesson that you had to learn to uh, to understand what you did to somebody else in in your past like i feel like you know for some of you you might have uh, you might have left a person for another person and now that same thing is happening with you which is why you are going to initially going to get hurt but soon you are going to understand that the way you are being hurt right now same you had done to another person in your life as well so maybe um you are going to go back to that person from your past you are going to go back to them apologize to them for what you did to them um i don't know if you are going to reconcile with that person from your past or not but you are definitely going back to that person just to be apologizing for what uh, pain that you might have caused to that person because I feel like you are going to feel regret you are going to feel um, you know guilt for for uh, for what you did to this person because now since you are in the same you know uh, uh, on the same spot in your life you can understand their pain and I feel like uh, um, you are definitely disappointed you would wish to have uh, but I feel like you know it's it's it was easy for you to understand and to come out of it as compared to how you made the other person to go about it because i feel like you know you have learned um it was easy for you because you have seen that other person go through what you are going through right now and you could plus like i feel like you know you could sense that it was meant to happen just to teach you a lesson and i feel like you know you 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 were already somehow expecting it to happen uh 
you know, as well. So that's coming up very strongly for, for those of you who can relate to this, uh, this, you know, story that I'm picking up. So definitely, I feel like for some of you, you would be uh, wanting to go back to this past person to apologize. So you could start a new life. Um, it can be a reconciliation for some of you, but I feel like for most of you, you really want to apologize. That is coming up very strongly. You really feel sorry for what you did to the past person. You are going to be, um, you know, I feel like you are coming out of a, uh, karmic cycle being with the with the wrong person is something that that was meant to happen to teach you the lesson that you were meant to learn um so yeah that's that's what i'm picking up let's uh let's pull out some more cards to see what what else do we have coming for the sign of leo so you know i can i can see one thing for sure you know some of you or in fact maybe maybe 50 percent of you uh could be coming out of a you know a triangle or uh, you are ending a third party situation and um that too in a <clears throat> in a way that you are not going to go back to and repeat the same mistake ever again um so let's see what else is coming up for the sign of leo uh i could see the five of pentacles so somebody is definitely leaving the past behind somebody's um <sighs> walking away from something it could be a past person, it could be a situation, it could be a relationship, it could be a situation that you want to walk away from, but you are going to walk away from it. So let's see what else is coming up for the Leo people for the second week of Jan 2020. Let's see. I feel like taking cards from uh, other deck. Let's take cards from this deck because uh, I feel like, you know, the same energies will show up using that deck because... Uh, I don't know. So let's see what else do we have coming up for the sign of the year for this week. Five of Pentacles again. You are going to be feeling very sorry this week time. But you are, like I said, you are going to come out of it. You are going to come out of it by the end of uh, this week or as you enter into the next week, you will be coming out of it. Maybe for some reasons, uh, for some of you, the reason could be that the person that you are going to go to to say sorry will kind of you know accept the sorry that you are or, or you know your apology and uh, maybe that is going to help you heal and come out of it soon um let's see what else do we have coming up for you this week time i'm not going to include this card you do have ten of swords again so definitely, I think that story that I picked up, I felt like, you know, uh, like I said, it, it could be like for 50% of you, it could be that happening with you. For others of you, maybe it is going to be reversed for some of you as well. Um, maybe you are having the person back in your life. Maybe you are the one who, who was left alone by a certain person. And now after they getting, you know, uh, heartbroken by the third person, they are coming back to you. So it could be that as well for some of you. Um if you have been hurt and if you have left a situation in the past, it could be coming back. Like, you know, uh, now you are going to be uh, in, in uh, you know, uh, you are going to be the one who is going to have the upper hand in this situation. So let's see. Queen of Wands. Somebody is getting back into their power for sure. And I feel like you saw it coming. Um, if if you are the one who is receiving a person coming back from from uh, from your past, um, and I feel like you know it's not going to be you know a distant past. It it is you know something which might have happened in a in a in the last few months. Uh, somebody might have left you for another person, but now they are coming back because they are disappointed with that person. They are uh, hurt with being with that person, and they are coming back to you for. For sure, they are definitely coming back to you. You do have Page of Wands underneath the deck, and then you do have Nine of Swords, almost the same card showing up again. Four of Cups, um, Three of Swords, um, Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. But I, to be very honest, seeing these cards here, I don't think that you are going to give this person another chance. Maybe you will be open to, um, if you are this person, like, you know, the, uh, the one on the receiving end. I feel like you are not going to, you know, accept this person as a as a as a potential partner now because you you for some of you you might not be able to trust this person again because they have disappointed you uh, and now you have uh 
now you are in a complete different zone as compared to how you used to be for them or how you used to feel for this person back then. Um, if you are the one who is going to reach out to a person from your past to apologize, I feel like, you know, that person is not going to give you a green uh, signal when it comes to having a relationship with you. They might be open to have you as their friend and see how it goes. But I don't think that they are going to accept your apology that way. So let's take uh, one more card from this deck. Let's see what it has to add to the reading for the sign of Leo. <clears throat> The spiritual teacher, let me show you the card. There are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. I feel like uh, for many of you, you like you know if you are the one who is feeling sorry and regret for what you did to a certain person you are going to be going back to those people to say sorry for for the way they uh, you have treated them for others of you you will be having somebody coming back from your past who might have hurt you so bad in love and they are coming back to say sorry to you because that's how they they um that's how they want to start off a new journey of their life um uh, they might have changed completely for some of you i feel like you know they will be in the in the in the you know in their um they will be still there where they are still going through some changes happening from within but um for others of you it could be like you know the person has completely changed already and now they are coming back just to say sorry and they don't want to have a new relationship with you or they don't want to reconcile with you not for not because uh uh, they don't love you or they don't have feelings for you. It's just that they are on the, you know, on another level uh, right now. They they are more on to the spiritual journey or to, you know, um, on the path of uh, where they are trying to understand their, their uh, you know, their, um, their true self, their true being. That's what I'm picking up. Let's stick one card from the Romance and Jericho cards to add more to this reading. Let's see. <clears throat> Love yourself first. Your love, uh, sorry, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, and that's exactly what I just said. Uh, I feel like you know, uh, if you are on the receiving end, that's exactly what you are doing. You are loving yourself first. You you don't want to be in a relationship with this person coming back from your from your past. If you are the one going towards you know a certain person to say sorry. I feel like, you know, uh, like I said, you would not be ready to be in a relationship yourself as well because you are uh, working on yourself right now. So you don't want to be in any sort of a relationship because you are trying to heal yourself. Plus coming out of, uh, you know, you really want to come out of the um, unstable period of your life when it comes to your relationships. So yeah, let's take one more card from this deck. Let's see. This is going to be the last card. So let's see what does it has to add to the reading for you for this week. It's going to be a very um, transformative kind of a week for you in terms of the, your, you know, the way you, um, you know, you are hitting the rock bottom and then you are going to change completely in terms of your love and relationships and in the way you look at love and relationships as well. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. You are going to be going deep within because like I said, it's more of a reflection. You are going to understand that what you've been, what you did to certain someone is reflecting back in your reality as well. So it's like, you know, you are going to start, you know, as you are ending a karmic cycle, you want to have a new cycle, karmic cycle. You really want to create new positive karma for yourself because that's what you are going to be, you know, believing in. Like I said, you will be, you know, going on a spiritual journey more than anything else right now. And, uh, you know, in the, um, for some of you, you are going to get on that journey this week. For others of you, you are going to, um, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, trying to understand whatever has happened and whatever that is going to happen. You are trying to understand all the, all those things. And, um, yeah, and, um, 
you will be trying to get aligned with your higher self to 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 get more answers to uh, to the questions that you would be having around yourself around your relationships why things worked out why things didn't work out why did you do this to this person why did they de- uh, de- why did they leave you for another person so it's like you know you are going to be contemplating on all those things in your life during the second week of uh, January 2020. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for the sign of the year for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. Do check out the services that I am offering. If you are willing to get any of my services done, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. But all the services that I offer are paid. So yeah, check the description box for further details. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.